Hello guys, welcome to Big Book. Today we are going to discuss the Leishman staining under the differential staining of human blood where the process is called as WBC differential. Now coming to the first slide. Differential staining of human blood. It is used to detect the abnormalities in the proportion of different white blood cells in the blood. So usually in colleges it will be used to understand the technique where uh, they are going to study the white blood cells, different white blood cells and also its features and also its properties under the microscopic observations. So but in the laboratories it is used to detect the abnormalities in the proportion of different white blood cells in the blood. Next is process or results are called as WBC differential. So this is the name given to it. So WBCs are the type of blood cells that have a nucleus but no pigment. Their nucleuses are not appearing as a pigment as some cells do show the nucleus. So two types of white blood cells are seen those are granulocytes and the other one is a granulocytes whichever the white blood cells is having the granules in the cytoplasm scattered around the cytoplasm within the cells those are the granulocytes and whichever the white blood cells doesn't have the granules scattered within the cytoplasm or the a granulocytes so these are the few major kind of the WBC cells. So granulocytes consists of neutrophils, eosinophils and basophils. Neutrophils do not stain with any of the form of the acidic or basic form, form of the dyes. Where there is a, they are many lobed nucleus with polymorphonuclear leukocytes or polymorphs and next is the agranulocytes consists of lymphocytes and monocytes you can observe lymphocytes monocytes eosinophil basophil and neutrophil now here lymphocytes this is a type of wbc with a very large nucleus the last one within the diagram of the picture is the lymphocyte so next slide Leishman stain so this is how the commercial form of the Leishman staining solution is available within the market Leishman stain also known as Leishman's stain named after its inventor the Scottish pathologist who is a doctor William Bogue Leishman. It is used in microscopy for staining blood smears used to differentiate between and to identify white blood cells and malaria parasite and trypanosomas. So here it uh, clearly describes that it can be used to identify and differentiate the white blood cells and also it can be used to see the malarial parasites within the blood sample where it can also be it can also show the difference between the whatever the blood cells is present and the malarial parasite is present and also to identify and differentiate between the white blood cells and the trypanosomas the parasite again it is pre present in the blood sample based on a methanolic mixture of methylene blue and eosine this is a methanolic mixture is that is the methylene blue and the eosin which will be present within this Leishman's stain. Leishman staining principle. Various types of blood cells will be having different kind of the body forms where the body forms will be having the different shapes, sides and also they are going to have different structures also. According to that the dyes are going to get stained. But the few blood cells will be basophilic where they are going to attract towards the acidic dyes and a few cells will be acidophilic where they are going to get attracted to the basic dyes so 
and some components of the cells which are neutral and has the affinity for neutral stains so within this sample whatever the sample we are going to take that is the blood smear or the human blood smear this this sample is going to have all these kinds of the blood cells so Leishmanstein is a neutral stain for blood smears so here which was again what we have discussed earlier was invented by the W.B. Leishman it consists of mixture of eosin a acidic stain and methylene blue a basic stain in methyl alcohol which is the base of the dye or the stain which is again diluted with and buffered during the staining procedure so whatever the stock solution of the the Leishman stain will be present that will be diluted according to the need and buffered to the required pH it stains the different components of blood in a range of shades between red and blue shades between red and blue that we are going to discuss in the result slides the acidic dye eosin variably stains the basic components of the cell that is the cytoplasm granules etc where the cytoplasm is the basic component within the cell and the granules also as they are going to present in the cytoplasm are the basic components which are acidophilic in their nature the basic dye methylene blue stains the acidic components especially the nucleus of the cell Leishman staining preparation the stain must be diluted for use with phosphate buffer to pH 6.8 or 7.2 depending on the specific technique used the pH 6.8 is preferred when the morphology of blood cells is to be examined and pH 7.0 is good for parasitic studies so here this is how the different pHs gives the better results or the best results in the studying of identifying and differentiating the blood cells within the blood cells and also between the blood cells and the parasitic cells within the blood so materials required are leishman stain stock solution microscopic slides phosphate buffer the pipettes measuring cylinder distilled water pasture pipette coupling jar blood specimen that is the sample which is anticoagulated procedure of leishman staining so here leishman staining can be done in two ways either by immersing the blood smear slides in the reagent filled coupling jars or by covering the smear with leishman stain which is placed horizontally on staining rack so first we have to prepare a thin blood smear on a clean and dry microscopic glass slide and air dry it now we have to cover the well dried thin blood smear with undiluted leishman stain solution by counting the drops of leishman stain counting the drop is very very important let it stand for 2 minutes the methanol present in the stain fixes the smear onto the glass slide after 2 minutes add twice the amount of distilled water or phosphate buffer solution and mix the content by swirling or by blowing gently again incubate the slides for at least 10 minutes at 37 degree centigrade this will stain the blood cells rinse the slides thoroughly with phosphate buffer solution up to 2 minutes or until it acquires a purple pinkish tinge or the color air dry the slides in a tilted position so that the water easily remove out of the slides now you can mount the smears with mounting media like gurris neutral mounting media or any other mounting medium 
which do not decolorize the smear note do not use canada balsam as it may decolorize the smear let it dry in air for few hours and then observe these slides under oil immersion objective lens of the microscope so here we have gone through one after the other point within the procedure so here in the procedure we understood that we are going to smear the blood on this slide blood we are going to dry it and again we are going to pour the Lichtman stain onto it by counting the whatever the amount of the drops we are going to get on this slide after that we are going to keep it for two minutes because of keeping it for two minutes whatever the methanol present within the Lichtman stain is going to act as the fixative for the whatever the sample we have taken and it is going to fix the cells within the smear and further we, the same is going to be washed with the toast the amount of the distilled water either we have to use the distilled water or the phosphate buffer solution if we use the distilled water or the phosphate buffer the excess stain will be removed and further we are going to gently blow and dry it for some time and we are going to keep it for incubation under 37 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes and again we are going to rinse the slides thoroughly with phosphate buffer solution up to two minutes and until it acquires a purple pinkish tinge so here whatever the stain has been applied because of consecutive or successive washing with either with the digital water or the phosphate in the first step and again incubating and again washing with the phosphate buffer is going to give a for a purple pinkish tinge that is purple pinkish tinge in the sense this smear is going to appear purple pinkish in color depending upon the amount of the sample is present that amount of the stain is going to present but we have to make sure that the excess amount of the stain should not be present it may give the bad view of the cells so we have to see that excess amount of the stain has to be removed then we are going to air dry this slide now we are going to mount mounting you know that we are going to take the adhesive which is going to be poured on to the slide on the sample which has been already processed and we are going to place the cover slip and we are going to make a mold of the adhesive and the cover slip and this and the slide and we are going to create a perfect uh, specimen or the perfect observable slide and here we should be very careful of not using canada balsam kind of the mounting media so again we are going to after mounting we are going to leave it for a few hours it can be a day also or the 12 hours of the time which is going to give good results of the mounting where the whatever the mounting medium or the adhesive will be present it is to get dry totally so there will not be any kind of the moving of the cover slips or the whatever the medium is present so further you can observe the slides under the microscope with a oil immersion objective lens so results are this results has to be observed like this that the color of the granules by Lichtman steins so is going to appear like basophil will show the purple black here you can see this is the basophil whatever these small small granules will be present that is the purple black those are observed here so overall the cytoplasm it is showing is no fields red orange here you can see red and orange all are present neutrophils purple 
so here you can see the granules are observed to be purple platelets has not been shown here even those are showing the purple now color of the cytoplasm by Leishmanstein so erythrocytes and reticulocytes has not been shown in this figure but lymphocytes here you can see in lymphocytes the blue color has been seen of the cytoplasm so here here you can see this is the blue color which has been seen here whatever whatever the uh, dark color has been or the inner circle is shown is the nucleus because lymphocytes are going to have huge or the large nucleus so further is monocytes monocytes are showing the gray blue color of the cytoplasm and neutrophils the cytoplasm is seen to be bluish pink you can see even pink and blue in the cytoplasm and basophils are showing the blue color so exactly the features are matching now the color of nuclei when you Leishman stain is chromatin shows the purple you can see here purple here also even here also purple don't get confused with the granules which are red and orange in color which has covered be covered within this so here it is the purple again here also even in lymphocytes nuclei is light blue if you see in the microscope the nuclei will be very much visible so nuclei will be light blue so all all to all features are matching within this picture as described here so this has to be observed when observing this slide in the microscope so microscopic observations so here uh, this first picture which has been revealed is showing this first is the smear blood smear without stain this is the blood smear after staining next is the slide showing the WBCs here are the one more slide these are the microscopic observations so these are the different zoomings and the resolutions has been taken as the picture so this is how you have to get the slide thank you for following us on the big book if you have not subscribed to our channel on the youtube please subscribe and also please like and follow us on facebook we are having a page on the facebook with the same name big book so we like to ask and request to ask where please subscribe share like and comment both on youtube and also on the facebook if you have if you have any form of the queries and the feedbacks and to like to help us in improving our channel please do be open to comment and share the feedback thank you for following the book